I'm Lieutenant Colonel Terry Lake, an active duty Army physician in my 18th year of active uniform service to our country. I want you to know the reasons why I feel I have no choice but the distasteful one of inviting my own court martial. For the first time in all my years of service to our great nation and at great peril to my career and future, I am choosing to disobey what I believe are illegal orders, including an order to deploy to Afghanistan for my second tour of duty there. I will disobey my orders to deploy because I, and I believe all servicemen and women, and the American people deserve the truth about President Obama's constitutional eligibility to the office of the presidency and the commander-in-chief. If he is ineligible, then my orders, and indeed all orders, are illegal because all orders have their origin with the commander-in-chief as handed down through the chain of command. Any reasonable person looking critically at the evidence currently in the public domain would have questions about President Obama's claim to be a natural born citizen. The troubling but compelling information that calls into question whether President Obama is a natural born citizen, as our Constitution requires him to be for him to hold the highest office, has gone unanswered because he refuses to release his original birth certificate dating from 1961 and bearing the signature of the doctor who delivered him. This burden of proof must fall upon the President. The Constitution may not have assigned the responsibility of validation of eligibility to any entity, and that needs to be fixed. Seeking out public office, especially the highest in our land, means you must uphold the Constitution, Mr. President, and confirm your eligibility. The minimal invasion to any politician's privacy from having to show an original signed birth certificate is far less than the harms to our country caused by someone not qualified whose election would thus subvert the law and the truth. President Obama, I ask you to respect and uphold the Constitution. Be transparent and show your honesty and integrity. Release your original signed birth certificate, if you have one, thus proving your birth on American soil, and thus assure the American people you are lawfully eligible to hold the office of the presidency and serve as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. I and all other service members may then continue to serve our country at risk of injury or the ultimate sacrifice, knowing that we do so for our country, the Constitution, and a legitimate leader of the greatest free republic ever. The Constitution matters. The truth matters. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Terry Lakin. Thank you for your time, and God bless us, and God bless our nation.